When I started making video work, I was making really short form, like I was really interested in um, 10 second, 30 second, one minute videos and a lot of my work was sort of browser based like for the internet but this predated YouTube and Instagram and kind of all the social media and so I was in a film program and a lot of people were like where are you going to show these films and I hadn't like linked the two together in terms of my practice but I'm not surprised at all by where we are now because video is a very concise medium for uh, transmitting a lot of information. In 2017, I had a show at the Museum of Modern Art in New York that was called Projects 106. And as part of that uh, exhibition, I premiered uh, my first feature film, which is called Incense Sweaters and Ice. And that was something I'd wanted to do for a long time. So that was a culmination of like a lot of work and goals that I had. Yeah, another turning point for me would be trusting my own process. In the last year or two, that's become really important, even more important than some of these big career moments or public moments or something private that just as I make work, um, I'm more comfortable with the unknown and figuring out, letting the project show me what it wants to be. Digital media is incredibly important. It's probably what people encounter the most in a daily basis and um, so I think as an art form if that's something you're working in you're already working in a way that people are familiar with. The main theme of my work is a an interest in my own personal mythology but also how that fits into larger cultural myths. I'm really interested in how certain forces cultural, economic, sociological, psychological bear on a person and influence them. I use a range of tools including like broken samples, seductive loops, and humor. I find humor to be really uh, useful for thinking about some of the incongruities of human life. For the Dream Commission, I'm working on a new piece called Slip that examines sort of a Freudian slip within a digital era when everything is flattened out and there's no such thing as subtext. Um, what is an ulterior motive? And I'm interested in uh, how our intimate relationships with technology might lead them to read our minds. It's important to have large-scale commissions because they're the only way that you'll be able to do your most ambitious work. Um, so however that support comes, it is necessary unless you're independently wealthy in some way, which I am not. So I appreciate the support, um, yeah, to realize bigger projects. The Dream Commission was interesting to me, one, because I love cars. Like we haven't, I know cars aren't related to it, but I actually do a radio show that's like about driving and about cars and design is super important to me. So I was interested in working with Rolls Royce for that reason, it's a brand I'm interested in. But also they, the idea of the dream, both in terms of um, aspiration, but in terms of uh, your unconscious are two spaces that are very important to my work. I think those as a combination are things I think about a lot.